So for the first example, let's look at uh, fluctuations in a spin system. Consider an ideal system of five spins. So we have an ideal uh, system of five spins in the absence of an external magnetic field. Suppose that one took a movie of the spin system in equilibrium. What fraction of the movie frames would show n spins pointing up? Consider all the possibilities n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So first of all I would like to remember uh, what ideal spin system means. So ideal spin system is a collection of spins where the uh, interaction between the spins is uh, negligible so we're basically assuming that uh, the behavior of one spin is independent of the other spin so there is no interaction uh, between the spins and if we have no interaction with an external magnetic field also in the absence of an external magnetic field this will imply that the probability of having an up spin or down spin will be a one half so we will have equal equal likelihood for a spin to be pointing up or pointing uh, down so let me note this uh, so for the ideal uh, spin system where I have no external field B external is zero the probability of pointing up or probability of pointing down they are the same 1 over 2 so equal uh, e they're equally likely and so uh, if I consider five spins in this configuration for the first spin there are two possibilities it can either point up or down so I have uh, two possibilities here so it can be pointing up or down so these two possibilities uh, and then I have for the second one it, it can point up or down so this also has two possibilities so for the configuration of two spins I have uh, one up two up one up two down one down two up one down two down so a total of four possibilities two square so for three spins I have uh, another two possibilities two times two times two for four spins and five spins I have for each spin again two possibilities so total number of possibilities uh, is 2 to the power 5 so total number of possibilities will be uh, 2 to the power Five, so which is 32 so I have a total of 32 possibilities uh, for this system now uh, I'm going to consider all possible configurations uh, that give me a value of n is equal to 0 so n is equal to 0 means there are no spins pointing up which means they're all pointing down so the first spin must be pointing down, second spin must be pointing down, third pointing down, fourth pointing down and five pointing down. And uh, so there is only one configuration here that gives me this uh, scenario. So the number of uh, frames is one and the fraction of frames is one over 32 because I have total number of possibilities 32 so if I take 32 frames one of them will be uh, this so then that's the possibility uh, now for the n equals 1 scenario one of the spins is going to be up so therefore I can have uh, the first one up the second one up third one up fourth one up or fifth one up while the others are down so
So this gives me total of uh, five possible configurations where I get this scenario n is equal to 1 so total number of frames that gives me this n equals 1 scenario is 5 the fraction of uh, frames is 5 over 32 now for n equals 2 scenario I need to have uh, two spins pointing up so this can be the first two up up uh, the first one is up third one is up first one is up fourth one is up first one is up fifth one is up and then I have uh, the second one is up the third one is up the others are down uh, the second one is up the fourth one is up second one is up fifth one is up then I have third and fourth up third and fifth up and also fourth and fifth up so the other spins will be down up up down 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 up down up down down up down down up down up down 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 up down up up down 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 up down up down down up down down up down down up up down 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 up down up and down 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 up up so if you count the total number of possibilities here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the total number of frames that gives me this scenario is, so let's take it here, it's going to be 10 and the fraction will be 10 over 32. Now three spins will be up, so two will be uh, down. Uh, so instead of having two spins up, three down, uh, I'm going to have uh, two spins down and three up so this actually this scenario is similar to the uh, n equals two scenario and we can see this explicitly here so I need to have uh, two spins down three spins up so one and two can be down one and three can be down one and four can be down one and five can be down 2 and 3 can be down, 2 and 4, 2 and 5, uh, 3 and 4, 3 and 5, and 4 and 5. So while the others are up. So as you can see, this is uh, very similar to having n equals 2. Um, where I had two spins pointing up now I have two spins pointing down and this is going to give me basically the same result uh, so I will have uh, 10 possible scenarios that give me this uh, result n equals 3 so the fraction will be 10 over 32 now in the fourth uh, possibility so for n equals four uh, actually the fifth uh, scenario i'm going to have four spins pointing up one spin pointing down so the first one can be down second one can be down third one fourth one or fifth one can be down the others will be up So we will see that this scenario is similar to having n equals 1. So I have 5 possibilities here, 5 over 32 fraction. And the n equals 5 means all of them are pointing up. There is only one configuration that gives me this result. So number of frames is 1. The fraction is 1 over 32. Now instead of doing this uh, with this brute force table 
uh, we could use the number of combinations of five objects taken n at a time. So uh, for the first scenario, I'm going to have for n equals uh, zero, I will have combinations of uh, five objects taken uh, zero at a time. That is five factorial, zero factorial, five minus zero factorial, which is one. For n equals 1, I have combinations of 5 objects taken 1 at a time, 5 factorial, 4 factorial, 1 factorial, which is 5. For n equals 2, I have combinations of 5 objects taken 2 at a time, 5 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial, which is 10. And you, you can see that because of this property, I have combinations of capital N objects taken N at a time is equal to combinations of capital N objects taken capital N minus N at a time. Uh, I have, uh, without calculation, combinations of 5 objects taken 3 at a time is 10, which is equal to that of taken two at a time combinations of five objects taken four at a time is five because it's the same thing as one at a time and uh, combinations of five objects taken five at a time is one because it's the same thing as taken zero at a time so this basically uh, gives the same result and uh, you can see that the, the this fraction of the uh, movie frames will basically give us the probabilities so probability of n equals uh, 0 is basically 1 over 32 the probability of having n equals 1 is 5 over 32 probability of n equals 2 is 10 over 32 which is also probability of n equals 3 Probability of n equals 4 is the same thing as n equals 1, 5 over 32. And probability of n equals 5 is 1 over 32. Now, if you take these probabilities and add them up, you will find that the sum of the probabilities for n equals uh, 0 to 5, probability of n is 1 over 32. 5 over 32, 10 over 32, 10 over 32, 5 over 32, 1 over 32, divided by uh, 32. So that will basically give me 32 over 32, which is 1. So this makes sense. Uh, the probability uh, distribution is normalized. So uh, total exhausting all possibilities we have a total probability equaling to 1 so the probability distribution is uh, normalized as expected so you can see here uh, from this discussion basically for uh, this problem actually the probability of having an n value is combinations of t capital uh, n objects taken n at a time uh, divided by 2 to the power n where uh, in this problem capital n the number of spins was equal to 5 so that's basically uh, what we have shown explicitly uh, using this uh, tabular form for the different scenarios of uh, configurations for these uh, spins. So just to recap, I considered the ideal spin system where the external field is zero, no interaction between the spins, so the spins don't care about the existence of the, each other, and they also don't have an external field which sets a preference for any orientation, so equally likely up and down spins, they each have a probability of one half. 
and if I take a movie uh, I look at the fraction of frames that would give me n spins pointing up I have tabulated all possible scenarios and found that the fraction is given by uh, combinations of uh, five spins taken n at a time divided by the total number of possibilities which is uh, 32 and uh, basically this allows me to uh, formulate the probability distribution for n as combinations of capital N objects taken n at a time divided by 2 to the n so this means the probability of n is n factorial capital N factorial n factorial n minus n factorial times 1 over 2 to the power n.